Whoa, what's going on everybody? Kenan here. I wonder if you guys can hear me. We are live, 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 live. Back on the handheld. Anybody out there? Anybody around? Who's going to come hang out with me today? There we go. People are starting to show up. Where are my commoners? Where are you people? Come on, guys. There we go. What's up, Joshua, Dinesh, Southern City Pythons, Wolf Fellows, Wesley Patterson, uh, Jack, Jack, Jack Mehoff, uh, Jim Shu. Uh, let's see. What else? I'm just kidding. I guess I fell for the, um, the good old uh, Michael Hunt last week. I'm glad you all got a kick, uh, kick, kick out of that one. What's up, everybody? Uh, good to see everyone. Nick Golden, what's going on? Uh, Big Hoss, giving you a shout out. Can you guys hear me? I got the microphone facing the other way, but I'm talking loud. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I think you guys can hear me. Yeah, so anyway, guys. Um, yeah, someone got me last week, the good old Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Uh, what, what are you going to do? I guess I don't watch enough Simpsons. Uh, what's up, Pernell from Denmark? Ariana, good. I'm glad you guys can hear me fine. The microphone is actually facing the wrong way. So, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, all right. So, today, we're going to hang out. Uh, kind of a mellow live. I'm just going to hang out by the pond, and we're going to see what's going on around here. Plus, we're going to go look in the incubator. I can show you guys what's going on. And uh, also, uh, you know, answer some questions. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, let's see. So this week's show, if you guys watch this week's show, you'll notice that there are a lot of you eagle-eyed fans uh, who realized that uh, that show was actually, oh, that show was actually not, um, not a recent filming. We actually filmed that a couple months ago. So you were asking about the monkey tail skinks, where'd they go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, monkey tails are doing good. They're in uh, their own enclosures. The, they're actually in these uh, ZooMed enclosures I have, and I'm going to get them into something else. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. And as you can see, the, the fence is up here in the pond. So that was just a video that was kind of sitting around. We were running out of shows because Tom's coming down next week, though. Next week, Tom will be here next Wednesday. We'll have plenty of new shows, so I'm excited. Uh, we got a lot planned for you guys. We're going to get out and move away from the camp, go see some other people. Uh, show you some some new exciting stuff so I'm pretty excited about that uh, yeah the pond is good uh, the pond is good fish are good too maybe I can uh, feed a few of them let's see I'm gonna flip this and we can try and feed some fish so I did wind up buying some blue dolphins pretty psyched but here's my little food container and I got some sitless uh, cichlid pellets right in here I got these little pellets and the fish are starting to really really enjoy enjoy me or come to know me as the dude who brings the food let's see they're a little shy but you can see them starting to swim around man it's pretty rad man uh what's up flaming tiger go to bed soon buddy but i appreciate you watching there pal all right let's see we got some little du duboises we got some duboises we got some guppies we got all sorts of stuff going on here I fed these guys a little bit earlier, so they might not uh, they might not come out. You know what else is crazy, guys? I'm told that this this phone right here is waterproof. The iPhone 10. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I do something totally crazy. Where's the Where's the I'm gonna look here for a second. All right. So the the camera is actually up top, but I wonder if I can broadcast and dunk it. This might. This might be the dumbest thing I ever did. So if the video shuts off, sorry. But here we go. Let's see. Let me see if I can give you guys. No, I'm going for it. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, the orientation is locked. Hold on. Oh, my God. You guys are underwater right now. You're underwater. Did that work, guys? Did that work or what? Was that cool? Pull it out. Did that stuff work or what? You guys are, uh, you guys are commenting. I want to see. 
It's dope. You can still hear me and you guys were underwater and we're still going. So that was cool. All right, so there you go. That was our first live underwater Camp Kennan episode. <laughs> uh, let's see. The fish are getting more and more brave. Uh, I think I might want to try that again. Let's see. What do you think? Uh, audio is even good. That's rad. Uh, let's see. We're going to do it again. Let me see if I feed feed some animals. What's up, Jason Dowsland? Feeding these guys. There we go. So you guys can hear me. We're in the pond. You guys are in the pond. I can't wait to watch this back and see what's going on. I can see your questions are still kind of going out there as well. Very cool. All right. Oh, wait a minute. That was dumb. Hold on. Let me switch it. Now. Now we go. Here we go. I want you to actually see the fish. There it is. So hopefully you guys can see these fish in the pond. Pretty stoked. Loving it. We got the Du Boise. Those are the black ones with the white stripes. The fish are just kind of all coming over here and hanging out. So all right, everyone. Pretty rad. Ha, ah, very cool. If you can't see the video, you may want to refresh the feed, okay? So there's uh, there's a little fun, you know? There's a little fun. Uh, let's see. Are there any turtles? Let me get some turtles over here. I'm going to put you guys down. Let me flip it. Flip the camera. Put you guys down right here. I got to get some turtles close by. and Let's see if we can get a turtle to get closer. Because I got some turtles right over here. So this is a lot of fun, man. I'm loving this. Uh, not going to Repticon this weekend. I'm actually going to be um, doing a little BMX nostalgia trip. See some old friends up in St. Augustine. Where the heck are these turtles, man? I know I got one over here. There's a little turtle in there, but maybe uh, we can get them out and about. Here comes one. See where I threw that pellet? There's a turtle over there. So I'm going to try and lure the turtle in. We're going to lure this turtle in. There he goes. All right, she's getting the food, so we got to get her closer. Or I suppose I could just go over to her, can't I? Let's go over to her. Oh, there's two of them. Come on, guys. Come over here. All three of them are actually over there. Uh, we're going to try and go underwater. I can't go too deep because I have a microphone on this phone. But here's a turtle. There goes a turtle. Turtle underwater. There's two turtles. You guys are now submerged with the turds. Look at that. How cool is this video? This might be the coolest live video I think I've ever done. Because we are underwater with the fish and turtles right now. We're going submersible here on Camp Cannon. Nice. And I can still see your comments. Bazaik. How rad is that, everybody? Let's go look over here. And we're going to go see how it looks underneath. Oh, I see a little turtle head poking out. Ah. Wait, go back. Underwater. Look at this. There's one. Are you guys having fun? I hope you're having fun. I'm risking my iPhone for you. Where'd it go? Did anyone see where that turtle went? Here. They're a little shy, I think. There they go. So sick. Little pink belly side decks swimming around, enjoying their little lives. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, man. This is pretty cool. How cool is this? So I'm pretty stoked. So uh, really excited. The guys from Aquascape are going to be back around next week. They're going to be hanging out at my new buddy Paul Cafaro's. Uh, we might pop over there and see what's going on. I don't know. But uh, there you go. It's a good time. I'm loving this. And uh, Emily Rockford, thanks for coming to the video chat. Uh, yeah, man. So this is pretty rad. So I can't wait to check out the vid. I'll probably change the title and say the first ever underwater Camp Cannon Live. Uh, but let's go check the incubator, shall we, people? Let's go see what's going on in the old incubator. We'll go cruise on inside the house and uh, see what's going on. Got it. We're dripping a little bit. The uh, studio's a little messy. Sorry. Hi, Kayla White. 
the uh, studio is a little messy, but I did have some notable hatching. And uh, now's the time if you folks are interested in helping out the camp and getting your own little reptile. We have some little reptiles that have hatched out. Now some of these are spoken for, but others are not. So let me show you what we got. We're going to come on over here and I'll flip it. Flip it for real. And babies, yes. All right, so we have one, two, three little baby redfoots. And the redfoots are 125 plus shipping. These guys are ready to ship in two weeks. Uh, so these are redfoot tortoises. They're $125. If you're interested, please email me at campkennan at gmail.com and put redfoot tortoises in the headline and the subject, please. Uh, then we have a little baby elongated that just hatched. This guy will also be ready in a couple of weeks. But if you see, he's still got his little yolk getting absorbed right there. But they're beautiful. Um, this guy, the little guys, I'm selling the elongators for 125 as well. Um, there you go. And then I have two cherry heads, but one of these cherry heads is already spoken for. Um, but you got to email me for availability on the cherry head. So if you're interested in a cherry head, you got to email me first for the price list, and I'll let you know if I actually have them. But these are beautiful little cherry heads, and you can really see the difference in the shells between the cherry head and the elongated. You can really see that it's a more vibrant shell. And then when you flip the little guys, see the black here on their plastrons? The red foots don't have as much black as a cherry head. So the, what that means is the cherry head, their little head is going to stay red and get redder as they get older, whereas these guys will get a yellow head. So that's what's going on in the incubator. I don't think we have anything poking out. I was um, cleaning out the incubator yesterday and I didn't see anybody else. We got a fun bonus video this week. It's an update on the uh, Indian Python. So we're going to have an update on that. That guy's a mental case. Let me tell you, we had an adventure here today with the uh, Indian Python, but you'll see that on Sunday, 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 Sunday. It's always reminded me of those like monster truck shows. Anyway, uh, cool, man. Let's go sit down. I'll answer some questions. Hang out by the pond. Just have a gay old time. I forgot what that cartoon's from. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's the Flintstones. Some of you guys may not even uh, remember that. Let me flip this and we'll talk. All right, so we're going to hang out. For the remainder of the video, we're going to chat. I'm going to shut up this food here, and we can have a little discussion. All right, what do we got? Grave Digger and Bigfoot. Yeah, Chris, I know you always know the fun stuff. Uh, question from Nico. Nico Kokodis. Coco Kokodis? Sounds Greek to me. Uh, how did I lose Azul the Rhino Iguana? All right, I will tell you how I lost Azul. Um, so here's how I lost Azul. I had Azul with a male for many, many years. I, I bought them both together. Now the male died because he got an impaction. And uh, that was a bummer. I took him to the doctor. They actually, um, they worked on him. Uh, I went through the whole rigmarole to get that animal uh, healthy again, uh, but it didn't happen, you know? <laughs> Hold on, I'm a little nervous. I thought I saw, I thought I saw some water pouring out of my phone. <laughs> anyway. Um, so he passed away and I got another male a few years later with my buddy Chad and um, she um, laid eggs but she held on to the eggs for a very long time and when she deposited the eggs because they were in her for so long they tore some of the fat bodies that were in her abdomen so I noticed that there was a prolapse of her abdomen uh, the mus the, the what you call fat bodies and um, I had to make a painful choice there was no way we were going to be able to save her by putting those back in it would have been a huge surgery that most likely would have killed her and so sadly I chose to euthanize her so it was a bummer um, so that's what happened that was kind of a bummer but um, here we are now and you know what I do have water in my phone oh my gosh I'm nervous I'm kind of scared uh, let's see, we're going to answer a couple more questions and then I think I had better, like, I had better do something with this phone, everybody, because I do see water pouring out of the speaker. That might have been a bonehead move. Uh, let's see, can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear me? Uh, I just want to make sure you guys can hear and that we are still 
broadcasting. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys can still hear. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, here's one question. Uh, I have four sulcatas for eight years. Three of them are doing great and got no pyramiding. But I got one with strong pyramid since was a baby. Do I have to worry about it as long as he or she... Let's see. As long as he or she... I don't know what happened to the rest of that question. Don't know who asked it. Uh, pyramiding, uh, as long as it's not getting so severe that you guys have uh, some kind of mobility problems with the tortoises, then I wouldn't worry. Just make sure you keep the diet. Um, you keep them on the proper diet and don't overfeed them. Uh, you know, give them a little bit every day or feed them every other day and they should be fine. Uh, let's see, any other questions? Can uh, cherry heads be kept in enclosure with some shallow water and even some elevations? Yes, I like to do that. Shallow water is good for your turtles. Uh, tortoises, they can soak, that's very good. Uh, some elevation, as long as the elevation doesn't have any sheer cliffs that they can fall off of, uh, you know, there you go. Marcos Cano, I gave you some attention. Uh, let's see, what's a good tortoise for New York? The smaller ones, Russians, Greeks, Hermans, marginated, cherry heads, elongated. Tortoises that stay small that you can get out of the winter, which you guys are still involved in winter. I hear it's going to snow again on Saturday. Have fun with that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, do I still have the alligators? All my alligators, uh, I give back to Bush Wildlife. There is a wild alligator in my pond. It's a baby, Big Al. He came back. Uh, but he's not my alligator. He can leave whenever he wants. I don't feed him, and there you go. Uh, also, um, you know, Kyle and I are going to be doing a uh, sanctuary together. Uh, can't wait to give you the official announcement. So we will do that uh, very soon. Uh, we have a lot of things going on. I think you guys are going to be really, really excited, and uh, you're going to love what we do next. Lots happening here with Camp Ken in the channel and even a place for uh, all of us to meet. So uh, let's see, no Dumeril's boa babies yet. They should be coming out in the fall. Uh, what else do we got? What tortoise uh, did not grow big but take cold weather? I just named them. Rewind. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, listen, I think we're doing good here, everybody. I think we're going we're gonna to finish it up. We've done about 17 minutes. I'm a little sketched out because there's water coming out of the earpiece on my phone. So I want to uh, dry that out and make sure we don't have a short. And uh, there you go. Uh, all right, everyone. Rewind this video if you want to see some underwater footage. It may be the first and last live underwater we do because my phone may not take it. Uh, great bonus coming your way this week. I think you guys will like it with the Angry Indian Python. So be on the lookout for that on Sunday. Please hit subscribe. We really appreciate it. We just crossed 222,000 subs. Please keep it going, guys, because we have so much more work to do. Uh, this is only the beginning. You guys are really, truly seeing the beginning of Camp Kennedy. We haven't done anything yet. So far, it's just in my backyard. Wait until you guys see what Kyle and I do next. And Tom and everyone that's been working hard on Camp Kennedy. It is going to be nuts. So hit the subscribe button, share our videos, give some support for reptile lovers out there. And uh, if you guys like, go on over to the um, Camp Kennedy Army channel and please... Help us out on Patreon if you're interested. Go on over to patreon.com slash campkennon. Donate what you can and you will have access to videos quicker than others. You'll also get uh, discounts on our t-shirts plus some other goodies coming, uh, coming around. All right, everyone, thank you so very much. Uh, look at that, almost 19 minutes now with all my, my uh, yapping. So here's a final shot of the pond. Thank you guys so very much for everything, and I will see you all soon. Don't forget, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, videos coming up. See you later.